Hello and welcome to our Egyptian trick videos. Here is video one of four from your trick show host with yours truly Reese. Hey, and here we have our tricks and magic from from numbers one to fifteen here in this in this video. Without any further ado, let's get to it right now. So get those like so thumbs up for me, and let's go right him from here to our first trick we get to. It goes into a scarab, a scarab beetle. And by magic, we'll make it completely vanish. That goes to the magic ancient bashing scarab beetle. Magic trick is what this looks like. So here with me, a half is this scarab beetle that I hold. I'm gonna actually is to make this completely vanish. Right here, you can just go in here. You can see it's right there, okay? If I'm going to go in my hand like this. Put it in there. Watch. Very, very carefully. Watch. Completely just dis 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 disappears. What? Okay, yeah. How's that possible? I just made this completely vanish. Wow, look, looks like these ancient um, Egyptian scarab beetles definitely had to have the ancient magic. How is this one done? I'll show you. All you'll need is a fake scarab beetle. You're going to is put it in your hand like this. So. As you put it in here, you're gonna actually go behind your hand like this. Like this. They'll know, because they see you put it in to here. You're gonna go like this and make it just disappear. After it is done, put your hand down like this. Turn away, turn back, and act surprised that you made the scarab beetle vanish, but it appeared. On the back of your hand. And as I do, the magic, vanishing, ancient, ancient scarab beetle magic trick. To our next ancient one, to you, that goes to our trick number two. And that goes to the magic pyramid of gem. Magic trick is what this will look like. It's the performance. So here I have is this a uh, p uh, pyramid here, and I got is this one nice gem that we'll be be using for it. Let me place it back into the uh, center, just like that. And here I'm going to is to take this blue gem. And just place this into my hand just like this. Okay, watch this. Completely it vanishes. Welcome into the pyramid of gem. By magic it appears underneath it. How is this magic trick done? I see this is done right now. 
for the gem pyramid. You will be needing the following items to perform this ancient magic trick. Is what you'll need to get to make the to perform this magic trick. And that is what you'll see just here. You will need our two nice blue gems. And a pyramid. A small size pyramid right here. And a carpet. That way it has something to sit upon. Like a presenting pad. You're going to is the uh, gem and hide it into your middle finger like this. That way it stays completely hidden. Like this. That way you can pick up the pyramid top like this to show like that that way you can show the first gem and you're going to do is pick up the pyramid and put this in like this very quickly like that put it right into the uh, center you're going to is to take this and you're going to do the French drop if you want to or press in like this and taking the gem right back out at a point, or no, what you could do is put it into your sl into your sleeve. So there's ways to make it to advance, like so here. So like this, point with the magical fingers and snap, and it completely vanish. After it is done, welcome into the pyramid in the center. Pick up from the top. And pull up like this. And by magic, it appears underneath the pyramid. It's a very great ancient magic trick that anyone can do. And as they do, the magic trick to the magic pyramid of gem. Magic trick. Um, two. Now we get to our trick number three. Right to you. Here on our first Egyptian trick video. This one here goes to the Asian side of Egypt to you with very ancient style. Magic tricks and mummy pharaoh tomb magic, which is what you'll be seeing in this very installment. Anyways, here is our trick number three. And that goes to the Magic Pyramid Queen Magic Trick. This is what this ancient Magic Trick will look like. So here I have is this nice pyramid here. I'm going to actually use to take this pyramid here. I'll place it right into the center. Right there. Okay, I'm going to actually... Is something very magical with this. Watch this place is here. Watch what I do with this. Watch. By magic, what appears from the pyramid is the queen. How is this master master trick done? I'll show you. All you'll need here is the um, Egyptian queen and the pyramid. That's in the same kind of style and text as the um, queen. Now these are here are um, almost the same size. You're going to is conceal the queen into your hand like this, like that, holding while well, holding on to the pyramid, just like this. That way you can, so you have one hand completely empty. You're going to is drop the queen off into the opposite hand like this. While holding on to the pyramid now into the opposite hand. So the other hand completely empty. Place the pyramid up front and place into the center. Queen is dropped down in here. Hand is to cover. And you go like this. With your hand above it and by magic making the queen appear on the side of the pyramid by the use of the pyramid for its production. 
And that's how you do and perform that magic trick to give it up for the magic pyramid queen magic trick. Bring us down to our next magic trick we get to from three, we'll get to our number four. Here in this one here, we got a yeah, combo in this, making it a deluxe. And that goes to the Magic Giza of Sphinx Deluxe Magic Trick. Heads with this ancient magic trick will look like. Okay, here we'll now is get the magic with these two. The pyramid and this vase. I'm going to is so you just how magical these ancient pyramids are. If I just take this ball right here, now place the uh, capture the vase like this, and I pick up this. I'll just place this right there. Okay, I'm going to is pick up. The vase here. Watch this. Here. By magic, the ball comes right back. And you see me put it under here. Okay, now that we've done that, I wonder what's making it. Um. Water. More. Magical. Watch this. If I take this, watch. It turns into the Sphinx. And that's what was making the magic spell with this one. How was this one done? I'll show you. For this you will, will need is the ball vase, the sphinx, and the pyramid that goes into this combo deluxe. You're going to is put this together. This this goes on to your lap. All to be seen first is the uh, ball vase and the and the uh, pyramid. Seen just right here, there, and present. Pick and take the ball out of the vase, as you see me doing. What you're going to do is put the cap on that has the gimmick here on top. Place this like this. Go aside and click the ball like this. What you're going to do is give it this a ditch as it picks up at the same time like this. Move the vase over the pyramid and then get a tap on top. Then open the lid, the ball appears back. Go down and grab this, the Sphinx after you put the lid back on pick up the uh, pyramid here and you're going to is yeah make sure you have it in this hand not this hand in your right hand so you pick up this put this in your hand here and put this down like this this now is back here and give that a ditch and by magic the pyramid changes into this into the Sphinx. And that's how you do the magic trick too. The magic Giza of Sphinx Deluxe Magic Trick. It's a very powerful one. And that's how you do and perform that magic trick. Bring us down to it. That's when we get to to our fifth one. Here we're gonna get get an ancient key and a black ball. And by magic, this is something very ancient like. Here's what this will look like. This one goes to the ancient key and ball. Magic trick. Got the key, the 
ancient key. And with that, the half is a black ball. What we're going to do is have this into this hand here, we're holding on to this key right here. Here, see, watch this. Whoa. Whoa, well, like, what happened? That key. The ball? Where's the ball? Just right here. How was this one done? Out. I, I, I'll show you the system right now. All you all need is um, a black sponge ball and your key. An ancient key. Actually, I made this key out of arts and crafts and turn it into something very ancient like. Okay, you're, you're going to is hold the key here and you're going to is twist like this. Like this. You can use this like a magical, like a magic wand. You're going to show the ball and you're going to is like this. Pull over. I'm going to just be very careful and slow and make it completely disappear by the key. After it is done, take the key, wave, and it ends up back into your opposite hand. So you may advance from one and then it teleports to the other one by the use of the ancient key. And that is how you do the magic ancient key and ball magic trick. Then that puts us down to our next one. We get to from five, we get to our sixth one on our first um, Egyptian tricks video. This one here is I'm just reading off of the 12th page, um, branching off of the summer now that we are here in October and now we changed to the Egyptian ones which goes great because of being October and, and being very close to Halloween which makes perfect for this because you'll be seeing tricks and magic pertaining to the Asian side of Halloween anyways with that said here is our, the magic trick which I like to call or the sixth one the magic glass mummy tomb magic trick is what this will look like. So here I got is this mum this mummy here, and I got this is this glass tomb. And I'll op open the tomb just like this. Okay, like this. And I place this mummy in the inside of it like this. We'll see what it'll do when placed into the glass tomb. Whoa. It just closed the it just closed the door. Here over here. We'll see if it will actually um fall out of that tomb. Check the mummy right here. Watch very closely. <gasps> Whoa! Did that just move? It's like the mummy has a little bit of magic inside of it. How is this one done? I'll show you. First, the closing of the lid. Then we'll get to the other one. First, you'll need is this mummy. Actually, I made this mummy out of arts and crafts. Then you'll, you'll need is this 
glass like tomb thing it's actually like a jewelry box but it looks like a tomb and very a very like a ancient one you're going to is how about I guess it actually easily like this let's be very loose no close like that you're going to is put the mummy into the glass the glass tomb like this first and then have it to close by itself very slowly it closes like that after it's done open the tomb like this and you're going to twist your hand a little bit a little bit ever so slightly and you can see that the mummy here when you twist your hand back here is going to move that mummy you can do that by tilting it and you'll move tilt it back a little bit It'll be very slow they'll move back move down a little bit more be very careful and by magic the mummy ends up moving and makes its way out of the glass tomb And as you do and perform the magic trick to the, the magic glass mummy tomb magic trick. Bring us down we get to, to our next magic trick. From six we get to our seventh one. And that goes to the magic ancient sarcophagus magic trick. And so this one right here is an ancient one. And full of their pharaoh mummy magic. Here is the performance of what this will look like. So here with me I have is my um, mummy right here. I got a sarcophagus and I got this interesting looking scepter that we'll use for the magic wand. What we'll use is this sarcophagus. See that there is nothing in the inside. We're gonna actually is to take that here and we'll put the mummy into the sarcophagus right here. I'm gonna close and with the scepter, we'll use it as a magic wand. And it turns into dog like God by the use of the magic mummy sarcophagus. How is this ancient magic, magic trick done? I'll show you. All you will need are the Mummy here and the dog god right here. And a sarcophagus besides as the scepter. This is actually a snake scepter. A two-headed snake scepter. You're going to is take the, the um dog god and place this into your lap. All to be seen is the mummy, the sarcophagus, and the scepter, the snake scepter. What you're going to is open this up and so completely empty. Turn this over here. Go and put this in like this very quick and place the zombie in like this. Bring it to your lap like that. And then you just give it a close. Use the scepter and wave over this the uh, so, the uh, magic the magic sarcophagus. You get a tap. After it's done, open up like this. And by magic, the mummy changes into a dog god mummy. Seen this right here.
Now this one here is happens to be one of the pharaohs. A dog god pharaoh. Here it is done. Place that next to the, to the sarcophagus. From seven, now we hit to our eighth one. And that goes to another ancient one. And of the mummy. Also known as, later on in, on Halloween, the zombie. The zombie. But anyways, this ancient one goes to the magic ancient zombie. No, it... The magic ancient mummy tomb. Magic trick. Is what this will look like. Here I have is this mummy right here that I have right here. And here I got is a different kind of sarcophagus. It's a different make. I'm going to is show you that um, there is nothing in the inside of it at all. But what we actually is give this a close like that. Uh, rest it up like that. I'll take this as a, a zombie here. I'm going to is just put a zombie into my hand just like this. I'll hold it there. Watch. Completely it disappeared. This was empty. magic it ends up in the mummy sarcophagus how is this one done I'll show you all you will need are actually two of the same made zombies so actually I made it these zombies I mean these mummies Um, for this as well too. So this duplicate involved. Then you will need is a different make sarcophagus, or same sarcophagus as the one that I just showed you from before. This one here, actually, I made this one from arts and crafts. Okay, look, look at the make. I actually designed that. On top of it, even the inside. Okay, so here's how to perform this. What you're going to is have this palm in your hand, so you can show this completely empty. You can also put one in, show one, and take it out. So the mummy out like this. So, the, the sarcophagus is completely empty. What you're going to do is put this in like this as we give it a close. Then prop the um, sarcophagus up like this, having it to stand. Like that. Take the uh, mummy, you can also put it into your long sleeve shirt like this, or I'm going to have like this, and kick it off like this. Right? And then blow. Or be dramatic and go like that if you want to. There now, welcome into the sarcophagus. And open it up just like this. And by magic, it appears inside the sarcophagus. Just time, go in and take it out. I'm there.
And that brings us down to our next um, trick down from eight. We get to our ninth one. And that goes to the Magic Pharaoh card plate. Magic trick. Is what this ancient one will look like. It was the performance. Right here. Look. That. And the gold wear. Here, you see? I got this Pharaoh's, um, uh, a car here, and this plate. I was placed into the plate like this, you see? Here. It's still there, right? Okay, I'm gonna actually, it's gonna place it into the plate again, like this. Like that, I'll hold it there. Watch. Completely, the card just disappears. Watch this. Just reach in, and I'll pull it right back out of the plate. How was this ancient magic trick done? I'll show you. All you will need is um, an, an ancient like a stick like gold plate and a set. Um, ancient Pharaoh card scene. This is here, so only two for this magic trick. What I'm going to do is make the card to vanish and come up the plate. So the card on top and over hasn't disappeared yet. What I'm going to do is put it, put it in and can actually put it into here like this. Cover by having this and go like this. Completely make it disappear. Take this up, go up, over, and go like this. And by magic making it appear coming from the plate. And that's how you do the magic feral card and plate. Magic trick. From nine, we get to our next magic trick. What is that too? It goes to the magic ancient sand cup. Magic trick. Is what this look like? So here I come. Over here. And see, I have is this ancient cup. So yeah, there's, there's nothing in the inside of it. Whatsoever, it actually is um, take this uh, sand right here in this cup here, and we'll actually is um, do something with it. So you get sand. Okay, actually, is put this in like this. I'll put magic into it. If I just reach in, look, I get gold. From the sand. Now I'll paste the sand back in. How is this master trick done? I'll show you. All you will need is this ancient cup. Actually, I made this ancient cup as well, too. Then you'll need is a chalas cup with sand right here. 
and to get. Then we'll, we'll need our gold um, be, uh, beads, bead laces. What you're going to is palm down like this, one hand, and then into the other hand. Like this. Hold your fingers like this, and so completely empty. There's nothing in the inside. It also is hold on to it like this, a fashion like this. You're going to is put this in like this, and you're going to so is the cup. Same time as you put this in like this. Like that. This now is completely empty. Put the cup down. And place this in really quickly as well too. Then you're gonna pour pour the sand in like this. So you gotta cup like this. Like that. After you're done, wave your, your fingers over. Or if you want to, you can use is um a bone, way over and get a tap. If you wanted to, use a bone for Halloween bone for a, a magic wand. Reach in and pull out one gold strand. Or use it again and pull out a second gold strand of bees right there. When that's done, let's layer it onto the table. If you want to, add a little bit of gold. Put that on your display here. I put it on my display right here on this table. Add a little bit of gold to it. Like that. There we go. That, 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 that looks much better. Once to do the magic trick too, the magic. An ancient sand cup magic trick. Then it's time to our next magic trick. We get to to our eleventh one. So here I like to call the magic dead sea script magic trick. It's what this dead sea ancient script will look like. As is, I got that with me in my pocket. All my pants. Right here. I'll show you. Right there. All fold it up right there. Let me just um, unfold this. See? That there is no writing on the script paper. But with a little bit of ancient Egyptian magic, we'll see what we could do about that. If I fold this back up again, like this, what I could do. And give it an unfold. Okay, there. Watch this. Are you ready? By magic, it puts on words onto the Dead Sea script. Seeing this here. How is this one done? I'll show you. All you will need is so your paper, and you're going to is this cut it up, make it look kind of ran down and ancient like. And all you need to do is just do like scribble scratch, making it look like like ancient ri writing on a script piece of paper. And you want to do is fold it like this, like that.
and then put this into your pocket of your pants. Like that. So now that you 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 you, 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 you got that, now you're good to go to perform that magic trick. All I gotta do is gonna say. So here with me, I I got is this a Dead Sea script? But it appears to be that there's no running on it. I have it in my pants pocket. I'll show you. Go into your pants pocket. I pull out the folded script sheet. Right here. The Gugunu is unfolded like this. And so that there is no writing. The writing is on the back, but they won't know it. This is gonna fold it again. Like this. You're going to is twist it like this. Very quickly like this. So you're gonna fold it and just twist it. Unwrap it like this. And it prints ancient writing on the script sheet. And as I do, the magic trick too. The magic dead sea script. Magic trick. Also, you could do a little a trip with it. You can see if it, if it has something that's linked with it. Check this out. Check out the paper. Watch the paper here. What it all do? Here, I'll just hold like this. It'll rise. How is that one done? I'll show you because of the folds. And as they have like this. Tug on the uh, ends and it'll lift up like this and fold over itself just like that. And that's how you do the Dead Sea script magic trick. Very easy to do and very easy to perform. Bring us down to our next one we get to. It goes to our. Our 12th one and that goes to the magic sand silk to pyramid magic trick. As of this, okay, so here it is an ancient one and goes into the pyramid of it. Let alone the sand silk that will make it. So here with me, I got is this black scarf. Okay, and here I have is this um, sand, um, a silk right here too. You're gonna actually do something, something very magical with what you're about to see with this. So what we're going to do is to take this right here. What we're going to do is place that into this. There. Into this into this scarf here. Like that. Okay. Like that. I'm going to is um Fold this over like this. Watch very carefully with this. If I take a bone right here for a wand, the magic will turn it into a pyramid by the ancient powers of magic. Okay, watch this. By magic, 
and turns into a pyramid. How is this one done? I'll show you. For this, you will need is what you'll see right here. One, this pyramid. This is a pyramid that has a console, this right here. Now fit in the sand silk, which is the, like sand. This is actually like a gold sand scarf. And you need is a black scarf. You're going to is have this onto your lap. That way, these two are to be seen. You're going to is pick up the pyramid like this. Like this. Hold it onto it like this. And you're going to is show this silk right here. And you're going to put it into the console part like this. Like you're putting it into the um, scarf like this. You're going to twist it like this. And then put this scarf over like this. Like that. And then with um, a bone for a wand, wave over, you can say, to the magic side of Egypt. And then tap it like that. Or hold the wand like this and go like this. By magic, it turns into a, py a pyramid. See, now this right here. Whoa. Like this. And that's how you do the magic sand silk to pyramid magic trick. To our 13th one we get to, and that goes to the Magic Great Pharaoh's Skull trick. Is what this will look like. So here I have is this Pharaoh's Skull. You have to check out the skull very closely. The Feral Skull Trick. How is this tr you know, trick done? I'll show you. All you will need is what you'll see here. You all will need is this um, skull mask. It actually opens and closes. It has a hinge you can open. You're gonna find this around the Halloween time. That's why it works great for this as well too. Then you will we'll need is this nice um, um, cloth to go to go with it. it. Actually, does go well with the um, the skull. Okay, what you're going to do here is you hold on to the skull like this. Which we had is underneath underneath like this, holding on to it like this. So you hold on to the skull like this, with your hand like this first. Like that. What you're going to is with your fingers like this behind here. What you're going to is go like this. And move it like that. And make it, make it rise that way too. Like 
that. So you're gonna hold on to your skull. So make sure you hold on to it like this as you would by holding on a skull like this. Make sure your hands are on the side. That way, when you go in like this, first you open the jaw like this. Like that. Be very slow. Rise up. this, keeping your arms straight, rise up, open again, go down slowly, drop your hand down to your side, keep it there, so as you turn this over here, hand is to be seen out like this from the side, that way it looks like there's only two um, involved with this the skull and the hand. Right there to his son. Present. Yeah, I even did a design onto it as well, too, making it look very ancient like. And so you do and perform that trick to it. Give it up for the magic ancient pharaoh's skull trick. Since we've done a great pharaoh's skull trick, now here we get down to another pharaoh's one. Well, not the pharaoh's one, but a spell book of the pharaohs of. Egypt, ancient Egypt. And that goes to our 14th one, which I like to call the Magic Ancient Pharaoh's Spell Book Treasure Magic Trick. That's what this would look like. It's the performance. Well, hey, I'm just reading a little bit of the um, bubble here. Can I take a look? Wow, that is a lot of reading to do. But I wonder what, what, what else it will do. Who knows? It might take us to something very ancient like, full of ancient treasures. I wonder what this book has in store for us. I'll just rest this just right down over here. Just right here. book in here. You'll see what this if it has anything of the sort of ancient treasures. But first, get to take a look at the book one last time. Again, just to uh, open the book here. Just reach in. again. Three. 
three. Four. Whoa. And six. Now look. Just a book. And I got lots of treasure. I'm in the book. How is this one done? I'll show you this is done right now. All you will need is, we'll see here first, before we get to the book of it. First, you will need are the various treasures with uh, a key, an ancient key, an ancient bell. An ancient Tawad cup, a, a, a pitcher gold like vase here, and a plate, or anything similar. You're gonna put these onto your lap, like this. Do this right here on my lap, on my lap. Like that. I'll show you what it's like. The dust right here. What you're going to is get the book. I just, uh, this spell book I actually did make the hand in arts and crafts. I designed the book cover. It says the ancient spell book. Of the Pharaohs of Magic, and uh, I did the picture onto it, and I even um, did the uh, paintings. This is, also, this is hand painted, and um, skillfully uh, painted and designed all these pictures in the book for like um, ancient words and that. And the legends of that. So how did I get the um, treasures out of here? There's this right here. This right here is a trap door in this book right here. Trap door is just right here. And that's what's allowing um, it to go like this. Dad. One. And two. Like that. That's what you're doing. But first thing we want to do is show the book completely unharmed. First. By sewing the front. And then the back. And then you're going to is on do that, and you're going to is re reach in and grab those various items. Since we got these out, I'll just place this just here. And I'll place that just to over here. So that's what you are doing. So the rest of it is very simple from there. The same way as that you're going to have the book uh, facing this way like that I'll move this cup over here too so we get some some room here like that so you see the book you just reach in and um, take out uh, the items in there like that
Two minutes done. Close the book up like this. Closing the um, trap door. Closing the book. And here I made this as well too to go on and go like this. Right there. That way you can take a look at the um at now the uh front of the book and back of the book. Just like that. And as they do, the magic trick too. The magic ancient Pharaoh's spell book treasure magic trick. Well, are they tre treasures? The, uh, the artifact uh, relics coming from the book of spells. You see now on the table. And with that, the book now, I'll place with the Pharaoh, the King Pharaoh. Just see here. There's the book. And as you do, and perform. That magic trick. Give it up for the magic great pharaohs. The magic ancient pharaohs spellbook treasure magic trick. We're going to sound to our last and the final one, our 15th one. And that goes to an ancient box. A pharaoh's ancient box. My magic will get something from it. And this one here, I like to call the magic. Ancient box of the pharaohs magic trick. This is what this look like. So it is an ancient one. All the way from Egypt to you. So here I got is this box. Looks nice and slightly like, kind of colorful, kind of. Let's see what's inside. Oh! That's interesting. Hmm. Wonder what we could do with this. I wonder. What? what, what? Wait, 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 one second. I think I know um, what this is for. I'm just gonna sp bring this up a little bit here. Make it nice and shiny. Okay, I'll even do, 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 do that with this as, as well, too. Okay, um, since I'm always done with that, let me just uh, put this back in again. Because it looks really nice on the inside. That looks really nice and shiny since, since I, 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 I did that. Watch this. Okay, actually. Pull out a scepter from an empty box. How is that possible? And you see it, it was completely empty. How is this, uh, this ma 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 master trick done? Well, I'll say, so here's a professional master trick, but in an ancient way. The way I turned into, I'm here to show you exactly how I turned a master trick into an ancient master trick. For this master trick, you will only need is this um, ancient box here. 
It almost looks like the uh, Theros of magic. Um, making magic happen. You can see all the stuff there. The hieroglyphics and that. That all hieroglyphics. Okay, up in here we got is just um little uh, thing here. You can use this for the, like a sprucing up of the box first. That uh, makes it look nice and shiny. Like this. So brush that. And brush the lid to like this. I like to see actually just uh, wiping off the dust from it. Then you're going to is, is uh, put this back in like that because you know, it adds a little something nice to it right there. So how are you going to get the uh, scepter uh, out of this? I'll show you. The, set, the uh, scepter here is actually um, the, f the, uh, fo the uh, foldable um, metal cane from your magic store. This folds just like the candle and the magic wand like cane. This is absolutely made out of metal and gold. That way it looks very ancient like. It goes well with anything besides this what you see here. You're going to is go like this. Like that. You want this like this, it folds in like this. I'm gonna be very, very careful when it comes to, to um this one. Because so you're going to is use your thumb to put it into here like this. And you can hold it like this. That way you just reach into the box like this. Put it in like this. Very slowly. It goes like this. And by magic is to be seen pulling out of the ancient pharaoh's box scene just to here. And as I do, the magic trick to the magic ancient pharaoh's treasure box magic trick. And so there you go, all 15 tricks of magic that you can, that you can do going for uh, e Egypt as well as a little bit for Fallen Autumn and Halloween. This is right here is like the ancient side of Halloween and celebrate in this kind of style as well too. Anyways, that's it. I'll see you all back tomorrow for our second one within as well too. As it is, we only got four within for this. I mean, yours, yours, yours truly, race, peace, much love, and blessings. Namaste. Thank you, you all so much for watching this video. And thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel.